Good morning, guys. Um, it is nine o'clock in the morning, and today is Saturday. I am home alone today because my godmother and her sisters um, are getting some trees taken down at the lake house. And so I am here with Taffy because um, they thought that she would just kind of be in the way. And so she's here with me. I am having bagels for breakfast right now. And um, yeah, we're just gonna see how the day unfolds. I do plan to film more than just this vlog today. So yeah, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I don't remember if I told you guys, like, um, we like to wear our slippers around the house. And my godmother and I have actually been on the hunt for some new slippers because, like, we have this stairway that down there you, um, we have, like, laundry and everything down there. And, um, after last winter, we were having trouble with the slippers that we had. Um, like walking up the stairs was becoming dangerous. Um, there were multiple times where I almost face planted on the stairs. And so the slippers that I had didn't have like a heel part on them. Like they were just the front part and then there was no heel. So we actually found some slippers on Amazon and she got the darker color and I got the lighter color. Um, but as you can see, they have a heel. They're very soft on the inside and just super functional. So um, I'm actually going to be going downstairs in a minute um, and I'll show you guys what I'm doing down there. Oh, and I got these new Peloton shoes because um, I'm hoping that they are not as hard on my toe as my other shoes have been. Um, I've tried like an insole. I have tried different types of shoes. I've tried loosening the shoelaces, but whatever the problem is, like it's my toe. I don't have a problem with my heels or anything like that, but it is my toe. It kills me wearing my shoes. So I'm hoping that these Peloton shoes um, will be more comfortable for like working. Um, and I love these little, I don't know if you can see that, they're like speckle shoelaces. And they're not used or anything, they're just on the table because I was relacing them because they came with um, different laces. They had these black speckle ones and then they had like a rainbow color and they had white. So I decided to go with the black speckle. So I'll see you downstairs in a minute. Okay, so I know you probably won't be able to see me very well um, because of the fact that it's cutting my head off, but I am taking this little bin that has some shoes in it that nobody wears and I'm putting away all of like our summer type shoes and when I say summer type shoes, I mean like sandals and Crocs and things that we're not wearing anymore because it's colder outside. So I'm just gonna put these in here because then um, that gives me room to put like tennis shoes and other shoes and boots and stuff like that over by the door. So we just like to keep our summer shoes in a bin and then like um, normally we'll start getting our winter shoes out soon. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I kind of wanted to put all this stuff away because it's taking up a lot of space and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so as you can see, we do have a shoe rack. Um, there are a couple of shoes I'm gonna get rid of. Like, for example, these shoes I never wear. Um, I got them in Indiana and I never wear them. So 
I don't even know what's in there, but um, like these are my godmother's shoes, godmother's shoes, godmother's shoes, her sister's shoes. These are mine, these are her sister's, and these are my godmother's. But I have been leaving my shoes over here because these are like the shoes I've been wearing to school every day. And these right here are the culprits of what makes my toe hurt the worst. And these also make my toe hurt. These ones don't make my toe hurt, but they make my heels hurt. So it's not a good thing. So I want to get the new Peloton shoes plus all these shoes um, put up there so that they're out of the way from over here. And these are the slippers that I'm going to get rid of. So um, I'm probably just going to throw the slippers away. But like those two white pairs of shoes, I'm probably either going to throw them away or donate them. Um, the white shoes, I don't see why, like those shoes right there, I don't see why I couldn't donate them. Um, these ones are a little bit older, but I guess I'll talk to my godmother and see if she thinks I should donate them or just throw them out. So all my shoes are up there. I decided these are the ones that I'm either going to throw out or give away. I'm going to um, wait and ask my godmother what she thinks I should do if I should just throw them out. Um, like especially these shoes have gotten a lot of wear. These shoes have gotten a lot of wear. These ones haven't, but they're like turning yellow and I might just throw them all out. Um, but I'm going to ask her what she thinks I should do with them. But all my shoes are now on the rack and there's room um, because her sister should be moving back in for the winter fairly soon, I would think, because um, it's getting cold outside. But it definitely looks a lot better there. No more shoes on the floor over here. And um, this is where we normally keep our totes for the shoes. Like these are my warm or warmer clothes for the winter. And we just have this um, sitting here. And like I said, we may add other shoes to this um, before winter starts. But I also keep like all of my sweaters and stuff. Long sleeves are in here. Hoodies are in here. Um, cardigans and stuff like that. So normally when I do laundry over here, if I wash a sweater, then I will rotate through here um, and bring like, if I wash a sweater, I'll bring the sweater from the dresser up to my room just so that I'm not always wearing the same sweaters. Obviously I do have my favorites, but it is what it is. But anyways, um, I'm glad I got this all organized because I felt like I was leaving shoes everywhere over here, so now it's nice to have it all organized. So it is now one o'clock in the afternoon. My godmother has been gone since like 9.30 this morning. And the people who are taking the trees down at the lake house um, have been there since before my godmother left the house this morning. Um, and yeah, they are still working on getting the trees down. They are mostly done. However, one of the neighbor's trees, like if it was to fall, which a lot of the trees out by the lake house have ended up falling lately. Um, if that massive tree was to fall, it would fall right on the lake house. So we got permission from the neighbors to cut down that ginormous tree and that's the tree that they're working on now. My godmother has been sending me picture updates and letting me know kind of how things are going over there. And yeah, it looks like it's quite the process, um, especially with this huge tree. If I remember, I will insert pictures, but these trees are ginormous, like especially the one that's on the neighbor's property. It's very, very old and it's very, very huge. And we were all honestly surprised um, that the neighbors agreed to let us have that tree taken down only because like there's been a lot of different issues with these neighbors over decades. Um, and yeah, they're normally not agreeable to anything like they hardly even respond most of the time when you say hi to them. Um, 
or whatever. And so, yeah, it was kind of interesting that they agreed to it and that they actually spoke to us. But yeah, so the trees are still being taken down over there. I finally got Taffy to get up and get some food in her. She went outside for a short little bit. For those of you who don't know, we don't feel like Taffy is going to be with us very much longer. Um, she is old and she's a golden retriever. I think she's 13 um, or 10. I can't remember how old she is, um, but she's been definitely slowing down and showing signs of her age. Like um, she used to get up and bark every night, like in the middle of the night at like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, just last winter. And now like she can stay sleeping all day long. Um, she doesn't really move around as much. She's not eating like hard food anymore. Um, every once in a while she does, but for the most part, she likes the soft food in the cans. So yeah, it's been kind of sad to see her declining like that. But anyways, um, I am working on planning some filming stuff and yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So I'm still home alone relaxing as you can see by my fluffy slippers and watching Netflix. Um, I am just now going through the beginning of season three of Heartland and it's kind of deceptive outside. It looks sunny and bright but I'm honestly freezing and I'm thinking I'm gonna go steal my tie-dye comforter from over here to watch Heartland. Um, I thought the news was going to come on at 5, and it doesn't come on until 6, so I decided to watch another episode of Heartland, but yeah. So like I said, I am freezing, and I just ate dinner, and I'm going to try to warm up, and like I said, I'm going to end the video here because I'm just going to watch Heartland, and then watch the news for a little bit at 6 o'clock, and then... um. Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel that just ran into the door. Um, but anyways, um, after the news at 7, I'm going to go to bed. Um, not really go to bed, but I'm going to go into my bedroom. And I should go turn on my heated blanket so that my bed is nice and warm when I get in there. And I'm going to watch Netflix for a little bit in my room after... Um, the news is over with so I will talk to you guys next time because that's all I have for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry it wasn't a super like interesting day um I feel like now that we're getting into the colder weather you guys are probably not gonna see a whole lot of super interesting like vlog content from me um only because when the weather's colder outside we don't really do a whole lot um, so yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.